Hanore he karore ki te atua, he maungarongo ki te whenua, e whakaro pai ki ngā tangata katoa. Honour and glory to God, peace on earth, goodwill to all people. Te hei mauri ora, behold the breath of life. Te whare wāna ngā o Otago, te marae kei wāho tēnā kōrua. To this house of learning, the University of Otago, in the form of the University, greetings. E ngā mate e ronga i o tātou marae, haere koutou, haere koutou, haere koutou. We acknowledge all those who have gone before. Te hunga ora, tēnā koutou. Kei te tūa hau ki te bihi whakatau ki a koutou, ki te reo o ngā runanga o ngai tahu o tēne rohe. Ko o tākou, ko hoirapa, ko moiraki. I stand to greet you today with the voice of the ngai tahu people of this place, the people of o tākou, hoirapa and moiraki. Whakatau mai, whakatau mai, whakatau mai rā. E ngā tangata katoa no Samoa, ko tāmai nei i tēnei rā, mō tēnei hui nui nui nei. And to the people from Samoa who are gathered here for this prestigious occasion, tā lofa lava, warm Māori greetings. Ko whamawina, Professor Whawhatai Supuaga, ka nui te mihi aroha ki a koe mō tō honore nui i tēnei pō. So, whamawina, Professor Whawhatai Supuaga, very special greetings to you this evening for this great honour that is bestowed upon you. I te minata, ki ora mō tō karakia mō tātou. It's Tumuaki, our Acting Vice-Chancellor, Professor Nicholson, tēnā koe, e ngā ahorangi mā, e hōmā colleagues, tēnā koutou katoa. Ko ngā ahorangi, Professor Joanne Baxter and Professor Peter Crampton, tēnā korua. Tō lewhalo, Nina Karifi Alai, mi te whānau o Whamuina, mi te President of the Samoa Council of Chiefs, Tēnā, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tā lofa. Ngā tauira katoa, tēnā hoki koutou, tu nō reira. Tā lofa lava, mā lola nei, nisam bula vanaka, ki o rana, i o rana, aloha. Nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, ki o rana tātou katoa. He whakatauki, nau te kete mātauranga, nāku te kete mātauranga, ka ora ai te iwi, which could translate as, with your food basket of knowledge and our basket of knowledge, together the people will thrive. Nō reira, inga mana, inga reo rauranga tina mā, haere mai, nō mai, haere mai. Welcome, welcome, thrice welcome. Kia ora tātou. Let us pray. Ka pūre tātou ki te atua. I hoa wātou mātou me tua tapu i runga i te rangi tētei. Te rauka nei mātou i te akamita ki āko e te atua. No te a tika ngā ngā tētei tāau i tāko tai mai e mātou ki te ngāi oko tai. No te a rā mātou tā mātou e akamāra nei e te atua. Te akamita ki katoa nei mātou i āko e te atua. No tāau akaranga tiranga i tō o Tavin Waina. O i oke a Professor Whawhetai Sopoang. Te ki tenei mātou e te atua i tā au anga anga meta ki i runga i ae. No te anga anga meta ki tāne rawe nei i roto i te University o Otako e Perakatoa i roto i tō mātou putuputu anga i roto i tō mātou oiri. Ki aka meta ki a koe, ki aka pāpā i a koe te atua 
e tuata watu tomato me tua tapu e puretu nei mato mate pati itao ka mita ki ngate tu ke mata o mai tao ka mita ki ngo ke runga i de professor tai tono ko putat tono ai tai ak i roto e te university e te tu te riro e te tur tur ya tono tuata i tomo e ki roto ti api Pera katoa ke mato kato toa te no kiro to to mato putu putu. Na o te tu e ka mita ke mai mato kato toa ke ka kato o ingo tapu ite ni apopo e tu ato watu. Most gracious and loving God, we thank you for gathering us here tonight for this special occasion. Present before us are Professor Tai's families, friends, colleagues and members of our community. We are here, O oh God, to offer our support and to acknowledge the many blessings we have blessed upon her life. We can see the many blessings that you have blessed us through the wonderful things that she is doing within the community and also within the University of Otago. So as we continue with our celebration tonight, we ask for your many blessings to be upon us all. Bless us all so that we will all be a blessings to each other. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Tenakote Katoa, Kohala Nicholson Toko Ingwa, Tepo Koko Mataraka, Tefarewanangara Tako. Um, welcome everybody, Talofa Lava, warm Pacific greetings. My name's Helen Nicholson and I'm the Deputy Vice-Chancellor Academic at the University and it's my great pleasure to welcome you all to this very special occasion to celebrate Famuina Fafatai Sopoanga's uh, promotion to Professor. I'd like to welcome colleagues, students and friends from across the University and the wider community this evening. But I'd like to give a special welcome to Tai's family, her husband, Angelo, her brother Erika and Marta Sopoanga, her sister Louisa, her brother Sam and Paya, who are joining us online from Samoa, and their children, extended families in New Zealand, Australia, and Samoa. I'd also like to welcome some other people who are very special to um, Thai, uh, the church ministers, Pacific community leaders, both here and online, Pacific Trust Otago board members and staff, Fono Fofotua, the Samoan Council of Chiefs, the Samoa Medical Association, the New Zealand MFAT staff, New Zealand Ministry of Health staff, um, the CEO of the Ministry of Pacific Peoples and staff, Te Ora Pacific Team, uh, Health Sciences, Taikiala Network and Pacific Advisory Group. I think just the number of people um, is a witness to the importance of Thai both here and across the world. So I will keep my introduction short, as this event is all about Thai. Um, but I just wanted to say that I've had the pleasure of knowing Thai for some years. Um, Thai, you're an amazing person, and your passion and dedication to Pacific peoples, whether they be staff, students, or community, have made a huge impact on the University of Otago, New Zealand, and Samoa. And I'm so pleased that you've been promoted to Professor. So congratulations, Ty. And I'd now like to um, introduce um, Professor Joe Baxter, the Dean of the School of Medicine, who will give a proper welcome. To Enga mana, enga waka, enga reo, enga karangatanga o te motu. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Kei te tūau, kei te mihi ki a koutou katoa. Uh, ahakoa he mihi paku, he mihi aroha, he mihi nunui tēnei ki a koutou. Um, well, kia ora everyone, and um, to the many esteemed guests, uh, to whānau, friends, colleagues, community members, people online, and to all of the people in this room, um, our rangatira, our chiefs, ministers, um, and esteemed people, uh, we all stand here, uh, and we all sit here, to um, acknowledge um, 
you, um, Ty. And I'm calling you Ty, even though you've got many, many um, impressive labels. And I was reflecting as I was sitting down next to you, how a, what a privilege it was to be able to sit next to you for this, your inaugural professorial lecture. And I reflected as a friend and colleague, how many times we have sat beside each other as we've navigated many spaces to uphold the mana of communities in the work that we do. And it has always been an immense, immense privilege and honour to sit beside you and walk beside you on that journey. So I'm standing here, not just as the Dean of the Dunedin School of Medicine, my name is Jo Baxter, for those of you who haven't uh, met me before, uh, but I'm the relatively recent Dean of the Dunedin School of Medicine. I whakapapa to Poutini Ngaitahu on the west coast and Ngati Apaki Terato in the Upper South Island. Uh, but I'm also a friend and colleague, and again, privileged to introduce the exceptional Whamoena Professor Fafatai Sapuanga. I'm filled with joy as I speak about Tai, who has achieved remarkable milestones in both academia and medicine. In the year 2020, she did indeed etch her name in history as the first Pacific female to be appointed as a professor in our university, marking a significant moment, not just for her, but for the entire Pacific region. I have known Tai in many roles. Um, in 2009, uh, in the decade following, Tai poured her heart and soul into her role as the inaugural Associate Dean Pacific within the Division of Health Sciences. And as part of that role, she drove the growth and the development of Te Va'a o Tautai, the Centre for Pacific Health, many of whom are sitting with us today. Her unwavering dedication to advancing Pacific representation in academia is truly inspiring. It's no surprise that her teaching prowess has garnered prestigious awards, including the highly coveted Prime Minister's Supreme Award for Tertiary Teaching Excellence in 2018. Tai's honours include acknowledgement of excellence in supporting Pacific students, a testament to her, co her commitment to fostering the success of our next generation. But Tai's impact extends far beyond the walls of our institution. As a passionate public health physician and primary health care physician, her research delves into critical areas such as mental health and well-being and the empowerment of the Pacific workforce. Her very insightful PhD focused specifically on the health and well-being of Pacific students, shedding light on vital aspects of their overall development. It is no wonder that Thai's significant contributions have received widespread recognition. In the 2022 New Year's Honours, she was appointed a Companion of the New Order of Merit, New Zealand Order of Merit, a distinction bestowed upon her for her outstanding services to Pacific Health and Tertiary Education. Her dedication knows no boundaries, as she graciously served as New Zealand's Ministry of, Health, Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade Health Advisor in Samoa until April 2023 leaving an indelible mark on the international stage. Additionally, Tai is a fervent advocate for, for Pacific rights, consistently working to ensure the voices and needs of Pacific communities are acknowledged and addressed. Most recently, Tai accepted an invitation to serve as health advisor to the Samoa Ministry of Health, further solidifying her influence in the Pacific region. Her deep-rooted connection to her for us Samoa cultural context, nurtured by her upbringing, has instilled within her a profound commitment to community service. Today we stand in awe as we prepare to witness Tai's inaugural professorial lecture. Tai, your wealth of knowledge, insights and wisdom are certain to provide us with invaluable perspectives and inspire th thought-provoking discussions. So everyone, please join me in extending the warmest of welcomes to Tai as she graces the stage.
enga mana, enga reo, enga iwi, erau rangitirama. Ko teratenei kwa ngaya e yewa. Kia hari tato kia koa tato i tenei. Kia whakapangia te ngoa e yewa. Ake tonu atu. Ki ngā tangata whenua tēnā koutou. E ngā rau rangitirama tēnā koutou. Tēnā koutou. Tēnā rawa atu koutou i haere mai. I tēnei rā. Ko whaumui nā whaawhetai so po anga tuku i ngoa. No hā moa ahau. Tēnā koe, Emeritus Professor John Broughton whaawhetai tēle mo le mihi whakatau. Mei taki ma ata, Reverend Tengaru. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Tulona ia, Le pa ia fa ta fa o le mautane. Tu mo ma pule he tu au malata wa ai ngai le tai ma le vaa o fonuti. O le afifio o ai nga maulata o tama o tama foi maulata o ai nga. O le pa ia lava lea o asu ma le vai fanua. Before my tu langi sa o le masale au mo. Whaatui ma le tōtō o le whale ula ma upu le manua tēle tūlou, tūlou, tūlou na ia. E tauia nga nga o nau whaatalo whaatu lo tō pa ia ma lo tō mamalu. Whaamalo le soi fō manuia. Whaamalo le soi fō maua. Whaamalo le tāpuai. Whaafutai mo tālo sanga. Alea. Alea wa sisi le fuo o Samoa i te tonu o le University of Otago. I te tonu o te ora nei tato whaafoi le vi inga ma le whaafutai i le tua. Ki o rana, maalo e le lei, whakalo whalahi atu, maalo ni, Nisan Bulavinaka, Namaste, Māori, Hallo, Hallo Loketa, Noa Ia, Aloha, Bonjour. Kia ora tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. I am not an individual. I am an integral part of the cosmos, the land, the seas, and the skies. I am not an individual because I share a toffee with my family, my village, and my nation. I belong to my family, Lu'ainga, and my family belongs to me. I belong to my village, Lu'unu'u, and my village belongs to me. I belong to my nation, Lu'uatunu'upele, and my nation belongs to me. That is the very essence of my sense of belonging. Words of wisdom from His Highness, former head of state of Samoa, to Yatua, to Pua Tamasese Efi. It is not I that has enabled me to be here today. It is not I that is responsible for these achievements. It is by the grace of God and the prayers and the aspirations of our ancestors, our parents, our communities, and the support of many that I'm able to stand here today. I know, I know that those who are no longer with us are here with us today in spirit. I carry the mana of my family of our people, of our communities. Our cultural traditions have been passed down through the generations, through stories. So today, I will be weaving stories throughout this presentation. Dare to be wise. Dare to succeed. Dare to care. Pacific aspirations in Aotearoa. Dare to be wise. 
The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. I grew up in a small island that I call the Pearl of the Pacific, Samoa. It's the first country to gain independence in the Pacific and the only country that has a treaty of friendship with New Zealand. There was no university there, so one had to leave Samoa for further education after high school. I was granted a scholarship from the government of Samoa under the New Zealand aid to come to New Zealand to study medicine with the purpose of returning to serve Samoa. It was an exciting time to travel to a new country. I knew very little about New Zealand. In fact, in Samoa College, I was taught more about Asia, about China, about the Ming Dynasty. <laughs> Travel down, spend a year in Timaru Girls High before coming down here to do the medical intermediate, the equivalent of the health sciences first year program today. I was 16 and excited. I can finally make my own decisions without my parents become my own person and find my place in the world. In my first year at university, I was struck down by a mystery illness. It drained the life out of me. Following three months of investigations, my rheumatologist said to me, Professor Palmer, that I had SLE. Systemic lupus erythematosus. Lupus, he said, meant wolf. I felt scared. Following a detailed explanation of what it was, the treatment and the prognosis, my world crumpled around me. I had missed many months of class and there was no way in which I could catch up and had to return to Samoa. Depressed at risk of losing my scholarship, my hopes of a bright future was shattered. Prayers, unwavering support, and love wrapped around me lifted me up out of a dark place. I was given the chance to return to Otago, and I asked Professor Palmer, can I study medicine with lupus? And he said, yes. Yes, you can, but you just have to pace yourself. So pace myself, I did. My health has since shaped my career pathway and had to learn to trust God in the journey. I worked in Samoa as a junior doctor, and when I returned to New Zealand for postgraduate training, I was told then that I had bilateral avascular necrosis, which means I had two necrotic hips. I had lupus nephritis, my kidneys weren't happy, and my liver functions were a bit of a concern. That if I wanted to live long, that I needed to stay in New Zealand and look for ways to give back to Samoa. Additionally, I needed to train in an area that my health can support. With encouragement from Emeritus Professor Charlotte Paul, my mentor, and Sir David Skegg, I took up training in public health. Their leadership in the Department of Preventative and Social Medicine was outstanding. Charlotte, I know you're watching. Happy birthday. I missed seeing patients though, and later took up training in general practice. Some 15 years ago, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Following a mastectomy and intensive treatment, I could not continue clinical work. Other opportunities emerged. In 2009, I was appointed, as Professor Baxter said, as the inaugural Associate Dean Pacific in Health Sciences by Pro Vice Chancellor Professor Don Robertson, who is linking in from Australia, one of the excellent PVCs that I had the privilege to work under. I started in this role while supporting Samoa's response to the devastating tsunami. 
Samoa's Minister of Health requested our university for assistance to support the development of Samoa's National University Medical School. Professor Peter Crampton, then Dean of the Otago Medical School, led a team in response to this, and many others have since helped in this place, including my clinicians. Professor Hayton, my rheumatologist, Professor Walker, my nephrologist, even my, my oncologist, Associate Professor David Perez, have all gone to Samoa and provided support. I owe a debt for my medical education to the government of Samoa. And I was keen to do all I could to ensure that I can give back to the health of its people. The Mamere Dr. Limbufiu, then Dean of Samoa's Faculty of Medicine, assured me that I was indeed helping Samoa from where I am working now. The Otago Medical School is celebrating 150 years in 2025. There were few of us Pacific Islanders in my Otago medical class. I have very few fond memories of my time in medical training. The challenging times are the ones one tends to remember the most. In a class presentation two weeks before my final fifth year exam in Christchurch, a consultant berated me in front of my group during discussions. I felt embarrassed, dumb, and overwhelmed. I went home and cried for five days. I decided then that I was not going to sit my, my exams, my important exams, because I didn't want to be in a profession that didn't care for one another. Professor Ellen Clark, then Dean of Christchurch Medical School, and head of campus sent for me, and I will always be grateful to him. In a fatherly way, he said to me, go wash your face. <laughs> Prepare to sit your exam, then come back and see me. I passed my exams, then came back to see him. He smiled and said, some people treat this like a game. Don't let it bother you. There is work out there that only you can do. The encounter with that consultant was so memorable that years later during registrar training, we were shown a training video with this consultant. I couldn't remain in the class. I reflected over the years thinking, there must be a better way to teach medical students than scaring the, the lights out of them. <laughs> Māori, like Pacific people, are disproportionately represented in poor health and education outcomes. When I was given the opportunity to teach medical students at Otago, I wondered, I wondered whether I could support the training of excellent health professionals equipped to meet the needs of an increasingly diverse society in Aotearoa. I know what it is like to be a patient, to feel scared and vulnerable within the health system, experience loss of dignity and at times misunderstood. I have experienced racism and treated as illiterate just because I look different from the majority. Although English is my second language, I am fluent and receive excellent education from New Zealand's oldest and finest university. I wondered, I wondered whether I could support the development and integration of cultural and clinical competence to improve health outcomes for Pacific peoples in Aotearoa. A vision was born. In 2008, a review of the medical curriculum was conducted. I had the year off with chemotherapy, and when I returned, the curriculum was full, and there was really no space to teach Pacific health. Ah, I thought, they hadn't timetabled the weekend. <laughs> With unwavering faith and the help of the community, we developed the Pacific Immersion Program, an opportunity where medical students in Dunedin learn from our community. 
I would like to acknowledge Dean Dr. John Adams, who enabled the program to be established. It is now a required component of learning for all medical students. Through this opportunity, students learn about the context of for our families, the things that can make a real difference for them. Students' feedback suggests the learning for them is meaningful, and I quote, Frankly speaking, the experience made me aware of my privilege and the inherent bias that I perceive the world with. I've never slept in a cold state house before. I've never been exposed to life on a minimum wage. Yet my host family was so generous and welcoming and proud to be hosting me. The experience encouraged me to maintain an open mind to be curious and respectful when dealing with people from unfamiliar cultures and backgrounds. There is no way my learning could have been so deep and transformational had I heard this in the classroom or read an article. Dare to succeed. The definition of success from a student's perspective is broader than just academic success. One of my research interests is capacity building of the Pacific Health Workforce in New Zealand. Tinto, a well-known theorist in higher education, proposed one of the very first models for student success in 1979, the longitudinal model of institutional departure. His model outlined the components important to support students' journey, retention, and the likelihood of them achieving their goals. The model has a specific focus on institutional responsibilities. He proposed that the outcomes of persistence or dropout depended on the student's integration with the institution academic and social systems. The greater the degree of integration, the more likely the student would progress to degree completion. In my doctoral research, I examined the relevance of Tinter's model for Pacific students. I examined, I interviewed 20 students over four times over two years and completed 76 out of the 80 possible interviews. The analysis of the data showed that all components of Tinto's model fitted the context of Pacific students. However, there were additional components important to Pacific students that were not included in Tinto's model. And these were culture and identity and areas related to their health and well-being, their spiritual, social, physical, and mental well-being. Spiritual well-being for most students was connected to the church, and this support was important for them in the tertiary environment. From this work, mental well-being emerged as a significant concern for students. So in 2019, through an HRC grant, we conducted a prospective cohort study to explore the mental well-being of all students starting at the University of Otago. Of the 188 eligible students, 77 completed at least one survey. Results in the first year showed that 55% met the criteria for poor mental health and approximately one-fifth reported moderate to, to severe psychological distress, anxiety, and depressive symptoms. Only one-third of this group had sought professional help on campus. While our efforts to ensure students succeed academically is important, their health and well-being is critical to their overall success. What has been our response to growing and supporting the Pacific workforce at the University of Otago. Where is the evidence that we are making a difference? Our partnership with the Ministry of Health since 2011 has enabled us to establish the POPO program, the Pacific Opportunities Program at Otago, a wraparound support program for students. POPO has three meaning in the Samoan language, depending on how you pronounce it. Popo, a coconut ready for planting, symbolic of students starting their new journey. Popo means to nurture, the responsibility of the university to nurture, support, and guide. And popo means to capture, the responsibility of students to engage with and utilize 
all of what the university offers. Growing the Pacific Health workforce in Aotearoa is important to the University of Otago. We aspire in our Vision 2040 to be a university of the Pacific. I acknowledge this is a difficult time. There is a someone saying, a law le you will know the competent navigator during stormy weather. Our vision includes growing leaders, growing our Pacific health leaders in Aotearoa. Since 2011, through targeted investment, we have seen an increasing trend in Pacific students successful in entering our health sciences program and health professional programs at Otago. Note the decrease during the time of the pandemic. This is a time for investment, not disinvestment. In 2018, we celebrated the 10% intake, the proportional representation of Pacific students enter, entering our medical program. However, there is more to do. While we celebrated the largest ever cohort of Pacific doctors, 28, graduating from the University of Otago last year, if we are to reach the 10% proportional representation of Pacific doctors in the New Zealand workforce in 10 years' time by 2032, at the rate, current rate, we will still have a shortfall of about 1,600 Pacific doctors. Dare to care. A well-known someone saying, the pathway to leadership is through service. To serve is a privilege. Leadership is about serving. It's about caring. The university workload model has a service component which enables engagement with our Pacific communities in New Zealand and the Pacific region. Regional conferences, the annual heads of health and biannual ministers of health meeting in the Pacific are excellent opportunities to listen and engage with leaders and colleagues in the Pacific region. We also support our students to engage in this space. We explore what might be helpful, then share these with our regional partners. Additionally, we invite our regional partners to visit us here, sharing research and areas of mutual interest. As mentioned, I had the opportunity to serve New Zealand as its health advisor in Samoa during the COVID pandemic. I'm grateful to New Zealand for the opportunity to study medicine. Additionally, the New Zealand health system has kept me alive and functional today. I'm grateful to orthopedic surgeons like Mr. Chin, who has given me two new hips. And the only time I'm aware that I have two new hips is when I go through the airport scanner and every time, without a doubt, the beeper goes off. Minister Aupito, the Minister of Pacific Peoples during the time of the pandemic, encouraged all of his staff and anyone who would listen to do anything and everything to encourage our people to be vaccinated. He even did a TikTok dance and challenged everyone to do one. I've never been on TikTok before, but I promised him that I will do one. So while posted in Samoa for work, I pulled in my colleagues from the Samoan Ministry of Health, the Medical and Nurses Association, the medical students, my family, my mother, her caregivers, and even the family dog to participate. Laofiongao Pitu, I know you're watching. This is a dedication to you, to your commitment to our people in Aotearoa. Jerusalem, I am Jerusalem, 
colleagues in local, national, and regional settings. It is a privilege to learn and work alongside you. Thank you to Mas, Mahalo, Vinakavakalevu. And to all our Pacific staff at Otago, we are in this waka together. 25 years ago, there was no Pacific Island Center no coordinated support for Pacific students at Otago. Honorable Pete Hodgson, our local MP, supported our community, staff, and students to advocate for this support. Pete, we do remember, and we thank you sincerely for this. The responsiveness of Otago to things Pacific really shifted under your leadership as manager of the Pacific Island Center. Our staff worry when we go away on trips together because for sure we will come back with some crazy ideas about how to lift Pacific at Otago. During a work trip in 2018, we discussed the name of our newly established center, the Va'ao Tai. She said, you should cover Waka with the name of your center and then put it up on the ceiling. And I said, yes, 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 that's a, that's a great idea. I'm from Fangaloa, the area in Samoa that is known for the skills of its traditional carvers. And, and so I actually thought that uh, we were going to carve something that looked like this. And she said to me, oh no, that's a toy. <laughs> Build a real va. So we did. We brought three traditional master covers from Fangaloa, blessed a pine tree behind my house, and then it was felt. Worksite was behind the former Pacific Island Center. And here it is now sitting proudly in front of the entrance of our office in health sciences. We couldn't quite hang it up on the ceiling, but that's okay, the turtles are looking after it. <laughs> I have really appreciated working with and learning from the inaugural Associate Dean Māori, Professor Joe Baxter. You and your team has been so fantastic to us. Our workspaces are next to each other. She is now my Dean. Kanui te aroha kia koe. I would also like to acknowledge the Va'autautai Center for Pacific Health, who I have worked alongside and who have supported me closely in this journey. Va'autautai means waka of skilled navigators. Unlike large ships that are steered by one person turning a small wheel, our ancestors navigated the largest ocean in the world and worked as a team to sail the double hawakas in search of new horizons. The double hawaka is symbolic to us of our journey together. Our team in the va'a is diverse. 
our future as Pacific peoples in Aotearoa is tied together with our colleagues from other cultures. We are whanau. Can I ask my team who are here to please just be upstanding, just very briefly. Now, I would like to invite some of our wonderful Popo mentors who are part of our Va'a team, an extension of our Va'a team, to come down. Uh, please make your way down, and we're going to get them to do the catwalk in showcasing the different ethnic groups that are represented in our Va'a. Please come down. Don't be shy. Let's all give them a hand. <laughs> Now, you, you can't come to a lecture without being tested. So if you can name all of the countries that these flags represent, and they will continue to display it, uh, please come down and get your prize. They're trying to look for their, for their country there. To our community leaders, yeah, just, just walk, take the catwalk, you show you. Show them your flag and then take the catwalk and just come down here. Yeah, just go, keep going, and then you can go back and put your flag back in. To our community, community leaders in Dunedin and throughout Aotearoa and the Pacific region, some who have joined us here tonight, others online, thank you for your support for our students, our staff, and our journey together in Aotearoa and in the region. I am indeed grateful for your ongoing guidance, advice, and support for us over the years. Le mamalo al fengal wenga tofi a oa o mafalitua ti a kono e fatafai taulanga e se ese le mamalo le fono fau fau tua fau fau tele mo tatalo mafat manuyanga. To my siblings, Reverend Yeriko and Mata Luisa Famanu Sam and Paia, and our wider extended family, o upola tato wangu u a malu fale e malu fo e fafo. To my husband Angelo and Emmanuel, I'm deeply grateful for your patience, love, and unwavering support. Grazie per il vostro sostegno. My parents in Dunedin, Norman Edie, Norman and Meryl Edie, thank you. Mariel, at 94 years young, is here with us tonight. <laughs> to my parents who are no longer with us, I still hear your voice and your guidance. My father often said, Never forget your roots, your whakapapa, your tiranga wai wai. This week is Samoa Language Week, and the theme is Mita Mita Ilaungangana, Mawa'a Ilo Fasinamanga. Be proud of your language, hold on to your identity. I am from the villages of Apia, Fasitotai, Fangaloa, Saadua Manono, and Lotofanga. But the village that raised and helped my parents to raise me is the Alamangoto e Fakasa Church, where my parents, Reverend Numaneta and Lili Sopuanga, were church ministers. Le Kalesia, Fapotputonga Keresiano, Samoa Yalmangoto, Fafitai, Fafitai, Fafitai Telelava, Olaupulelea. Who I am today is because of how you have collectively raised me. E hara takutoa, e kitoa takitahi, e toa takitineke. Mine is not the strength of one, but the strength of many. For I know the plans that I have for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Then you will call upon me and come to pray to me and I will answer you. You will seek me and you will find me if you will seek me with all your heart. Dare to be wise. Dare to succeed. Dare to care. Pacific aspirations 
in Aotearoa. I would like to close by singing a verse of my father's favorite hymn, Ua telele alofa o lena fiomai, the love of God, our God who came to us is plentiful. Ile nei lalo langi ia ola i tato, for us in this world to save. Mali e lava pule tato te whawhitai, thank you, we are so thankful. Ua telele alofa o le faola mai, for your love, your love that has saved me. So fua ma ia manuia. Hello for lover, warm Pacific greetings. My name is Peter Crampton. I work in Kohatu, the centre for Hauru Māori, which is just over the corridor from where Fa works in Vaototai. It is my very great pleasure to offer a, a vote of thanks to Fa I have worked closely with Fa over at least 13 years, and it is a huge pleasure for me to be here today to witness your lecture, to meet your family and your friends, members of the community here this evening, and everyone here, Famuina's supporters, to hear her inaugural professorial lecture. In her wonderful lecture, Famuina told us the story of her career. She told us <clears throat> that she came to Aotearoa, first of all, uh, funded by a New Zealand aid scholarship under the auspices of the Samoan government. Her intention, she said, was to return to Samoa to serve the people of Samoa and to serve her country and the government. But, as she said, a serious health condition got in the way of that. And her doctors here in Dunedin were very clear with her. She really had no choice but to stay in Aotearoa if she was to be treated effectively. As you said, this came as a major blow to you, but it did not diminish in any way Valmuna's very strong sense of obligation and of commitment to the people of Samoa and to the government of Samoa. And what we've heard today tells us that Faumina has taken every opportunity possible to fulfill her sense of obligation to the people of Samoa through her teaching and curriculum development, through her research, and through her immense service to the Pacific communities within Aotearoa and within the Pacific. And this includes the time that we worked together over a number of years, supporting the development of the medical school at the National University of Samoa. 
And this sense of service continues right up to that moment. And as we heard, uh, Farmwina has recently been appointed as an expert health advisor to the government of Samoa. Farmwina, your lecture has given us insight into what lies behind your exceptional leadership. You, as much as anyone I know, are committed to the well-being of the people of Samoa, both here in Aotearoa and in the Pacific. You, as much as anyone I know, are committed to the well-being of all Pacific people, in the Pacific and in Aotearoa. And you are committed, as you so eloquently explained to us, to shaping a future for Aotearoa that powerfully reflects and celebrates New Zealand's place as a Pacific nation. You are an inspiration. On behalf of all of us here, thank you for your lecture. To finish off, I would like to present you with a small token of our appreciation. And now I will hand over to Tofilao Nina Karifi Alai, Manuia Le Afi Afi. Inaugural professorial lecture by Professor Famuina Fafetai Sopoanga Ventura. Kia ora, tā rofa lava, kia ora ana, whakarofa lai atu. Mā loe lelei, namaste, tā roha ni, ni sambula vinaka, kem na Māori, haro oro keta, nau mai, haere mai, warm Pacific greetings, and happy Samoan Language Week. Are we there yet? <laughs> Often we hear that innocent question from the children in the back seat of the car or the bus, impatient to get there. As such, so were the Pacific community, as we longed to arrive to moments like tonight. It is my pleasure to say something on behalf of the Pacific family Pacific staff here at Otago. The Bay of Ata Fowl Mar. The journal near Fiafio, my owner. Bye bye. I'll be on a fall or fall or dam of tongue. The journal for ye lay. A fine easy. Upo to filao, upa yama, my malu, distinguished family from the Pacific and wider ocean. But ye are lying as I'll be. Thank you to our opening minister for blessing tonight, Vice Chancellor, the leadership team of the University of Otago, Mana Fenua, all of us here, Girana Kiki, nice to see you there. Olelupe Malelau Olive Mata, the dove and the fresh olive leaf. Onayetu wina atule Olelupe, Mawaiya fa lele. Ono tue foa i ane le ole lupe le afiafi. Oilo na ngutu le lau olive mata. When the dove returned to him in the evening, there in its peak was a freshly blacked olive leaf. The great story of Noah, the flood, and the dove he sent out that brought hope, the dove that brought life, as in the book of Genesis in the Bible. It encapsulates the dreams of the Pacific families, community, when they raise and nurture their far now. And then they send them off to foreign lands, foreign worlds and environment, sometimes too far away places, seeking hope, seeking life for a family, a country, 
and her people. Tonight we have come together, our University of Otago family, and we have witnessed that through the life of Professor Faumina and her parents and her family, brought us here. At Pacific staff, we have watched, praying, Oafia, Professor Rexa Aja from Wina, came our second, our first female. We have some, but you see, when you open the door, more come through. And we're here to celebrate the brave leaders. Brave leaders, University of Otago, enabled us to make that happen. In the Samoan culture, one is known as the Lupe Falele Ainga, the family's dove, to be sent away with their prayers and their dreams in the hope that when they become successful and bring honor to the family, the village, and the country, they return with the fresh olive leaf, the blessings. These doves are also referred to as the family sacrifice. Ole Taulanga Ainga, for the families, go through a lot of sacrifices, supporting their lupe, their Taulanga. The most significant one is of separation, living apart, going through many challenges that our children, students are still enduring today, that they have to endure to find their fresh olive leaf. Ole Taulanga, an offering to society, community, and an offering to go out and serve. In Fawinar's case, an offering to work in this space. Like many others, service to Pacific students and their families. The many doves sent from the Pacific region and around the country and the world. An offering that also became part of our Pacific family here at Otago here at the Pacific community in the Eden and out here. And when the dove returns home with the fresh olive leaf, we celebrate, knowing that the dove has equipped, qualified to serve. The work has just begun, for it is an offering, a sacrifice to serve for life. So what do we do? We say prayers of thanksgiving, we thank God, we sing hymns and songs of Fafetai. We dance the night away, Philipola. We share a meal, not just any meal, a big meal, more like a feast, like there's no tomorrow, for our prayers have been answered. And we sing our gratitude to our Lupe and to those who enabled her to fly. For she, they, and made us all proud tonight. And when we sing, we acknowledge the love of God, the patience of those around her, people that support her day in, day out. And the prayers. La ofiunga el polofesa. Amuia le manava na ifo We thank God for you. We thank your parents for giving you the heart for our people. We thank our colleagues, the leaders here at university, for allowing you, allowing us that space. We thank Angelo for the many wifeless nights and days and all that. We thank all of you on behalf of Pacific staff. Faf Taile Faeya. Faf Taile Toa, we expected nothing less. Fly 
and do more. Can I invite Pacific staff to stand up? They are in the house. All Pacific staff, Kiki. And because in the islands, when we celebrate, we sing. And because it's our modern language week, we sing Wafa Afetai. Wafa Afetai. Wafa Afetai. Chahu. Wamali e matai. Vai. Watasi lava. Watasi lava. Malo, thank you. Our cup is overflowed. And together with the prayers of our, your family and our Pacific community, we thank you. I always say, you are a very sick person with a heart of uh, God. We wish you all the best for our work has just begun. So if you are my Emanuia, have time. Momo no fan to low le pa io lo sa sa ne Tu tala foi le tu ranga we Tu tala ile ava mal fa lo lo wa wa pa u le tu a au ma format Le foi lo ala ne fo Le su a yo la sunga ni ta ta yo le sa ni Yo la ofiang el fa au le universite otaku the Payo Samoa Malinay Mamalu or Afi Fiamai. I train any warm out me a mau. Olo my moa, my penna to find lang. My lord, so if woman we are, for my lord, the langi matafi. I told him what you have a moa malifafita in a tua. While we are to Tassi woman fire and a fat on wind and a fat more moa salupe matal sea. Tu saw the fat of Fala Inga, the University of Otako. There I look leo Fatova. If I am a Fonga Tau Morimonio, the Fionga Ya for Wina, Malona Ile Sunga Ya, Antro Ventura, a Momoli le Fafitai Ilia Tua, a Waoya Yana to Finga Malavala Wina, Fanga in Ile Ola Fatova. Aw aw nai mula menuia ona tengata. Fafitai le universiti otaku. Walau melayu le walauin aw fangai nai le aw aw nanga. Mualau mafana wal pasifika. Aw mesol metanga luenga le suifu malolo ina. Fafitai ainga. Wom aw mea mai. Ayalau tu tapu inga. Le te tālō ma lō tū whaiwa sa tū i le u pāpa ma pō le whala. Wā le whā moe moe i a i u ma le manuia. I a iei se au ngāo se alo i nā au se whānau i nei. Mō fi au ma tiu te ua whāla au i nei. Vice Chancellor and staff, on behalf of the Sopoanga family, I extend our gratitude for the opportunities given to whā moe nā whā whitai Sopoanga to serve within the university. May God continue to guide the leaders of this institutions. As per our cultural border course, we have small kits to give to some important people. For Tangata Fenua, Yao Se Mea Lofa Fantova, for Inatu Mola Ufiyonga. As for the officiating minister, Lao Sunga Fafenga, now say Malo Fafatova, Lao Sunga Raventino, more than a far more more tower.
upole tusi a umono utu faya oye mea ye utu fa peifu o utu o una lea unga mal fa tova e fa fo ile vi inga ile tua amen fa tai Uh, good evening. I'm Tai's uh, sister. I work for Whitaker's. It is a chocolate manufacturing plant uh, based in Porirua. Um, Whitaker's, as you know, as you know, is a New Zealand company. It has been voted uh, the most trusted brand over the last 12 years. Tonight, we will would like to give everyone a gift. It's a selection of Whitaker's products. So. Um, <laughs> So um, please uh, collect a gift box as you go out of the lecture theatre. Thank you. Teleaso a ele la waso. Oleaso mal filinga. Oleaso foi mal mata inga tila. Famuina. Wamato o mai. Olo nu ulea. O tangata tu motu. Wo mai fa fita yatu. E ma mo li atu le fa ma lo. A waya. Le le wo ma tu tangata i loa. Ta lue le fe au ma nga lue nga le. Tau te puno no wai le tae au. Ma le po. Wai na ilu ilu talu talu. E o mai le nu ule nei i te tonu ole no whanga le nei. Aia, o e fa au u tauna la lai, o e fa popo u u le pa ia malema malu o tangata atu botu. Ai mese lo tatu i tu pasa moa. Malo sa ili malo, malo fa yol feiva, malo fa ea ea. A matau i tala o le ngā luenga male aso, ma o te aroa a toa pe moni le tala o te tau fai atu. Oka, e toa tolu pe toa whāporo whesa e tonu o Tako University. Mai lea. Mai lo tau puti puti o le whamo e moe o le ngā luenga. Nā na te lea o aukilani ma weling i tone ai le ai. Lele. Nā na i titi a o tantini. Ao lele na tū rai a tuai. Mātou whawhita i atu. I le pa ia ma le ma malu le naitu o le tātou a inga. Angelo, my boss. Kafitai, kapen ngā mea. Thank you, sir. It's been a long journey. You have been waiting there, helping there, and waiting for her for a long time. And we acknowledge that. 
Fafitai, Fafitai, Famalo. No sooner if I feel younger, no sooner if you feel you recommer for two. We saw Mato Fafitayatu, Tato Nulia, Mato May Fafitayatu, in Nea Fiafi on all. Lauto tapu inga malauto loto telenga ilenga luenga faya le fionga ya fomuna fomuna e yeyo pa ia mo mamalu e fenga town na mato la sia e le telo taimi e o ye stala pele o ye ai e fenga ta fenga ta la le tapu e mai ulu fenga. Lale tapo e mai le ta uso. Lale tapo e mai o ainga vane alo sina. Lale tapo e mai a tua le fangono. Tapo e mai foi le vao fonti. Alel. Le lupelele sa falele. Le awa. Ua fatau nuina le ta yao malaso le nei. Wa matau fia tangata i luma o le tua. O na o le fa moe moe ma le tapenanga. Wa ma wa lunga lea. I stand on behalf of the Pacific community in the Neden to say, to congratulate you from Wina and to say, fa fetai, fa fetai fa ea ea. Mato fa malo atu. Fa fitai me uma ue faya. Fa fitai me uma lama. The BI community with the manga faoa, the koputangata, and the kainga, and a lot of them, families, have come here tonight. And most of them aren't here, but they have been waiting patiently for this day and for this time. And now we're here. And now we're here. We're here to celebrate and to say, Fafitai, Fafitai, ia fa manui atu le atua. I ate oe mou faiva, ia e mesele pa ia malu. Fa manuia mai foi le atua le tapu a inga alo tato nuu le no foi fa fenga inga le sunga le tue ina ma le faletua sunga le tau simtanga luenga sunga le li fai feau ya ite ite ane sunga le tamai tai fai feau ya alofa ma le no foi e kale sia e mai se o tato lupe fa lele mai le e kale sia e fakasa ma le e kale sia a metutisi o lo tato Fai me anuti ili nei vai taimi. Matou fafitai atu, ma fa manui atu. Ili ngā lue ngā lea, ma le ngā patia. Ono le tautua ina o sa moa, ma lona fina ngalo. Ae me sere so i fua, ma lolo ina. Let me say once again, thank you and thank you and more thank you to us all. Fafitai, fafitai lava. Mea, fio mea rāua. Ua lo lo ngo le fu wa ma le pa ho Ua tu a lot Oh my yeah Ya sao ta ho Tu sa vai lo o pe moni e a la u fa a lo ngo Fale ale, 
Kyokoto, I was going to start by expressing my profound gratitude that I hadn't been asked to get up and dance. <laughs> but fortunately, you were spared me having to uh, do very much of that. Um, I'm Trish Priest. I'm the acting pro vice chancellor of the Division of Health Sciences, which is the department of the university where Va'a or Totai sits. Um, and I'm, you'll be pleased to know, going to speak very briefly. <laughs> um, I'm mainly here to uh, thank you for coming and to um, ask you to give one last round of applause for, for Fomuena Professor Fafatai Sopoanga. Um, hang on, not yet, not yet, because I want to say a couple of things first. <laughs> um, I'm, it's not really my role to spend a whole lot of time talking, but I just wanted to acknowledge what a wonderful experience it has been this evening and how honoured and privileged I feel to have been able to be here. It's always fantastic to come to inaugural professorial lectures, but what a lecture, um, what an experience. It's just fantastic to um, be here with the community involvement and the 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 excitement and the entertainment, but also the deep meaningfulness of um, your what you said and why you're here. Um, and I just want to um, acknowledge and express my respect for uh, Ty's um, passionate, persistent, um, possibly inexorable advocacy for um, Pacific Health and for uh, Pacific learning among our students and for capacity building and capability building among Pacific uh, students and peoples around the Pacific and she just has done such an amazing job and I just wanted to really acknowledge how much I respect her for that. So now I'm going to ask you to thank Ty again and then we're going to go and have refreshments at the staff club and a performance at seven o'clock. So get yourselves over there. Thank <laughs> you.